right. It's the middle of April, and it's snowing outside like crazy. So guys, we're outside today, and that's because I'm super excited to share with you a new camera security system with DVR that I have. A company called Lorex has sent this to me. They're a really popular company for this type of thing. If you do a search on Google, you're gonna see tons of Lorex products come up. Um, super simple product. Everything that you need comes in the box. The Lorex system comes with pretty much everything that you need to get started. It comes with four cameras, two of them are bullet cameras and two of them are standard uh, dome style cameras. They have uh, all of the ethernet cable you need as well as the kind of the base station or, or the NVR and this is the device that actually does the recording of the, the cameras. Everything is super simple to set up. It's a PoE system. PoE stands for power over ethernet, which means by running these simple cables that are included, these are, these are essentially the same computer cables you'd plug into your computer. It not only gives it the data or the network that it needs to record, it also provides the power. And so this is simple to do. You just plug one end of these into the back of the NVR and the other end goes directly into the the camera, you can see a little port there, and that is all you need to do. And the camera boots up and gets up and running. It gets its power and its network all from one place. So that makes the installation of this super easy. So the one I have is a four camera, 4K system, which is gonna give us that really extra detail to be able to punch in on things. There's nothing worse uh, than having a security camera, but when you go to actually use it, you realize, you can't even make out the face or you, you kind of zoom in and it's blurry. We've all seen those on TV before where they say, hey, have you seen these suspects? And their faces are just so blurry that you can't even tell who they are. So with this system, with the 4K system, which I believe is actually an eight megapixel picture, um, you're getting a really high quality uh, picture, which you should be able to zoom in on and see the details, whether it's a person's face or maybe a license plate, or maybe like me, you just want to figure out if that's a skunk that's been chewing up your front lawn for grubs. The other nice thing about this system is it has access from pretty much any system you're going to have. So whether or not you're on Android, you're on iOS, Windows, Macintosh, I believe there's even Windows phone access. So Anywhere you want to view your cameras, iPad, tablet, you name it, you're going to be able to do it. So whether or not you use a monitor connected directly to it, or you want to use an app anywhere in your house, outside your house, your office, while you're away on vacation, it's a super simple way to be able to connect and take a look at your footage. Now, the nice thing about this system too, compared to some of the uh, ones on the market, is it is connected to the internet. So it's up to you on how much access you give to the internet, but you can open it up so that you can view your cameras through the app, pretty much anywhere in the world, which is great when you're away on vacation, you wanna check in on your house, see what's going on. It's a really simple way to take a look at what's happening. Now, Lorex does offer some upgraded web services, so that is essentially where your NVR, which is recording here in the house, it does not need internet to operate, but you can choose to subscribe to some of their services where basically you're sending copies of that video up to the cloud. So one of the things you do need to do is decide where you're gonna put the NVR. Now the NVR again is the, the main unit. Um, everything connects up to the main unit. So all of the cameras, the power, your ethernet, uh, there's a 250 megabyte hard drive in this, but if you want, you can add an external USB one. So this is kind of the core of your system. Uh, you also might want to have a monitor. You don't need to have a monitor on it. You can just leave it in a closet somewhere if you want. But if you want to have a monitor for kind of a live view, a lot of people like to have that. The large system that I got actually comes with four different cameras. Two of them are bullet and two of them are dome. So the bullet, just like a bullet, hence their name, they look like this. Um, and essentially these come in a weatherproof enclosure. 
Um, they're a little bit bigger than the, the dome one. So they can see up to 250 feet in the dark and you can even use their special IR color mode, which will get you color, which if you've ever seen those night pictures are usually that kind of black and white looking security camera. This will actually do a color version of that. And that one can see, I believe up to 175 feet on the bullet camera. Now, the other nice thing about this is the bullet cameras actually have a four times uh, optical zoom. So this isn't using digital. This isn't like on your, your iPhone or something where you can kind of zoom out of the picture, but it gets blurry. This actually has a little motor inside and using the software, you can zoom the motor in and out to get four time optical zoom. So if you need to be looking somewhere or you want to focus this on something more specific, uh, you can go ahead and do that with the, with the bullet cameras. The other camera that it comes with is the dome type of camera. So this one's a little bit smaller. Um, and I believe this might be a little bit wider angle of, of view. This one does not have the optical zoom. So what you see is kind of what you're going to get, but you will obviously have that very high resolution to be able to zoom in after the fact and also make out you get a 4k on here with eight megapixel picture as well. Um, like I mentioned, both of these are uh, Cat5 PoE, so you can actually just use the, the Cat5 cable you're going to run to it, which is very low voltage, and the power is actually provided from the NVR itself. So you're going to plug the Cat5 cable into the back of that, which in turn is plugged into the wall, and is how the cameras are actually powered. So you don't need to worry about getting an electrician in to run extra cabling or power cables to the camera. Uh, you do have the option to put a um, uh, power over ethernet injector. So if you want to put these somewhere where maybe you already have uh, some cables, but it won't be direct back to the NVR, you can use that as an option. Now, the other thing that these ones have is they actually have audio on them. So they've got a little microphone on the front of them. So this is a really good one to say, put out front of your house, on your driveway, on your entryway, something like that. And if you ever need to actually tap in or you need to hear from somebody, you can do that. So, I mean, it adds that added flexibility. You see a few guys hanging around on your driveway at night and you wanna know if they're up to, to no good. You can actually hear what they're talking about. And it does a fantastic job of actually picking up voices from pretty far away, actually. Um, so it adds that extra little element of security. So one of the things I really like about this is the fact that it's so simple to set up. Basically, you just pull it straight out of the box, you plug everything in, give it a good test, and everything worked. I did not have to configure one single setting. Um, I was also able to download the app uh, and there's links on the, all the documentation that comes with it, or you can just run into your app store and search for Lorex. It's gonna be the first app that comes up, which is Lorex Secure. And it was super simple. I just logged into that and I just said, find new system, added it to the app and everything was up and running in, in just a matter of minutes. So really like the simplicity of this. I've set some of these systems up in the past and the amount of configuration and work that was involved knowing different protocols, figuring out which cameras work, how to connect to individual cameras, sometimes different cameras even within the same system when you move between bullet or your regular dome type of cameras. Uh, so I'm just getting ready to set it up completely. I've pulled it out right now and uh, you can see behind me here, I've got it on my bench. Um, and I was able to power it up. I was able to plug the cameras in just to make sure that they're all working. Uh, and there's really no configuration, nothing you need to do out of the box. Literally, I dropped it here, plugged it into power, took the four ethernet cables that came with it and plugged it into each of the cameras and everything is up and running. Now, it also comes with a remote control, uh, which allows you to pretty much switch between a lot of the views um, as well as fast forward, rewind, typical things you'd expect to do with a remote. And it comes with a little baby mouse, uh, computer mouse, so that you can work with it on the screen. Now, I have it hooked up to a HDMI monitor here on the side. So it's a simple HDI, HDMI monitor output. So any TV monitor, anything you might have, even that booted right up into a screen where I could actually view the four cameras. And using the remotes, I can jump around, go full screen, back to kind of the grid view and see what it is that's going on. So once you decide on a space for the NVR itself, the main brain or the main system of it, you're gonna to wanna to try to decide where you're gonna put your cameras. Now, there's two important things to think of when you're putting your cameras. Number one is you do need to run a Cat5 cable to each of those locations. So you're gonna to wanna to think about how you get that there. 
Some of the places that I've scouted out around my house, I'm going to look at running it through the soffits in the house. So I'm going to go out through my garage here into the soffits and, and just run it along that way. A couple of the places I actually already have a cable. And I think in one of the locations, I'm going to look at actually mounting a uh, little uh, PVC conduit down the side of the house and just running the cable straight through that to where I want to mount the camera. Now, the second thing you want to think about is what it is you're trying to look at. So keep in mind, we've got two different uh, types of camera here on my system. I have the bullet cameras, which have that uh, optical zoom, so we can actually go a little bit further. So potentially, if I want to maybe put it down the side of my house, but zoom it more in on the front, I can go ahead and do that. Um, also, you want to think about your night vision. So both of these have night vision and can see quite a ways in the distance at night. Uh, the bullet camera can go a little bit further, so again, maybe you want to take that into consideration. Um, and you also probably want to think about how it's going to look in your house. The, the bullet cameras are a little bit bigger and, to be honest, a little bit more intrusive looking. I think it really has the typical kind of stereotype security camera look to it, whereas the... Um, Dome cameras are a little less invasive and these can be mounted somewhere and really start to blend into their environment. Whether you put them right against your brick or you have it up under your house on a soffit or uh, like me, I think one of them is even going to go in the backyard and mount it on a shed and have it point towards the house so I can actually see what's going on. So another thing you might ask is about upgrades. Well, the nice thing about this system, it is connected to the internet. Um, ultimately, you don't need to. Your system's up and running. It's completely standalone. It does not need a connection to the internet. So I think that's important for it there because a lot of people actually want that. They just want to keep their security system inside and secure. But if you choose to connect it to the internet, you get all of your upgrades from Lorax automatically. So if it ever has improvements to features or they add things to it, uh, you can go ahead and download those features and uh, it'll automatically upgrade your NVR to have those latest features. So I think that's a really cool thing to have. Um, and like I said, having the flexibility to be able to choose to use that or to choose not to use that is something else that makes it such a flexible system. Another great thing of a network security system is the ability to notify you when things happen. So with this system, there's a, there's a few different things you can do. You can choose to receive email notifications or even push notifications directly to your mobile device. And those can be for a variety of different reasons. So whether or not you want any motion detected to notify you, or maybe you want to create zones using their uh, unique software you can actually go in and you can kind of draw right over the areas that you want to be notified about so for example with me i have one out front of my house and i don't really want to get a notification every single time a car goes by but what i do want to do is maybe get a notification when somebody's walked up on my front porch or closer to my house when they've actually engaged with my house so i can actually set that using their software uh, on my Mac, I went in and I was able to draw a little area where I want to monitor for movement. And I told it whenever there's movement in that area to send me a notification. And it actually has a little image attached so I can see directly who is coming up to my house or what is going on. And again, that prompts me to jump into the main mobile app and it be able to take a closer look or even listen in on what's going on. Okay. It has been a few weeks now since I've installed the system. There's been a lot going on. Brand new puppy in the family. Weather has been crazy, but we've had everything up and running. I have to say that I'm super impressed with this system. I used Nest cameras in the past, and this is night and day over what I had from that. Um, really like the uh, quality of the pictures, both the day and the nighttime quality of them. Uh, and I highly recommend it. If I had to throw forth any complaints or concerns that I have, it's probably over the fact that they do have a lot of different apps. Uh, I think there's three different mobile apps. My favorite is the uh, Fleur Cloud, which uh, to me is the best one. There's one specifically that seems to be the older version, which is the Lorex Secure. And there is another one that is um, specifically for their cloud services. Same thing on the browser side. I find that some of the apps or some of the browsers were difficult to get going, Chrome specifically. There is a note on Lorex's site that says they're working on an HTML5 HTML5 setup for this. That's not available yet as far as I can see. But that being said, I was able to use Safari and Internet Explorer and things seem to work fine. So overall guys, two thumbs up. 
Going to be doing some more videos coming up on how I integrate this into my home automation system. I'd like to see if I can get the footage from these directly into a live dashboard uh, using OpenHab. So if you're interested in that, keep an eye out. Also going to try to take a look at a few more of the features that are built in. Some of the things I didn't touch on are the inputs on the back so you can actually wire this up to uh, use the opening of a door or a garage, something like that, a contact sensor to trigger the recording. And I believe we also have some input output alarms. So if you wanted, you could actually have an audible alarm go off when something was happening. So guys, I hope you like this. If you did, do me a favor, click the thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe. And I think that's it for this one. Thanks guys for watching.